Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here, joined by Keith Ford. And today we're at Rock Island Auction, uh, checking out a FAMAS, the rare in the U.S. anyways. Absolutely. FAMAS. Uh, this is actually a semi-auto uh, imported by Century Arms, believe it or not. Uh, there's only a handful of these, oh, a few hundred in the U.S., not many. And they go for crazy money now. There's gone like 25,000 yeah. money. Um, so today we'll take a look at it. We don't get our hands on one of these very often, so we decided to uh, take advantage. Uh, if you're not familiar with the FAMAS, it's uh, currently uh, the French service rifle. It's actually being phased out. Mm -hmm. I believe the 416 yes, was adopted so. in its place. Um, I don't know how long that's going to take for them to replace it. But it's been around uh, since the 70s, was adopted uh, mid, late 70s by the French. Uh, been in service since. So right here we have basically a Gen 1 model. Uh, and this is the first generation, essentially, uh, FAMAS, like the French Army uses. Uh, there is a Gen 2, which has an enlarged trigger guard and has a Stanek style magazine. Uh, this particular FAMAS, since it's a Gen 1, uses a straight, straight 25 yeah. round uh, FAMAS specific magazine. Uh, a few features, uh, it's a bull, bull pup, yeah. <laughs> if you didn't notice that right away. Uh, it is very space age in how it looks. Uh, so a bull pup, if you're not familiar with that term, that means magazine behind the trigger uh, and the action essentially. Um, and we'll run through the features real quick on the FAMAS. It does have a unique operating mechanism, yes. which uh, you don't see often at all on uh, guns today, especially semi-autos. Um, but right here, you'll get a pretty clear view on how it functions. It's not a rotating bolt. It's not a uh, roller lock or anything like that. It's a lever delayed blowback. If you focus on this component right there, you can see this lever. As I unlock it, you can see it turn ever so, slight, so slightly. And that's what locks up the action, is that little lever right there. And it uses a specific ammunition that the French use, um, and it's timed with that action. Mm -hmm. So you can't really run a bunch of, no. you can't run your favorite 77 grain load through this or your reloaded ammunition, probably have it run super great. Uh, one interesting note uh, is it, it is convertible from left to right hand use. Uh, right, how, right now it's in right hand configuration. You can pop off this plastic piece right here and swap it to the other side and you can uh, change it over to left hand eject. Uh, otherwise it is pretty ambidextrous. You'll notice up here uh, the selector is in the trigger guard. Uh, there's, there's safe and there's fire um, and it can go either direction. So completely ambidextrous. Pretty neat. Yeah, they're cool. Very and then cool. up front you may notice the, the bipods which are actually pretty well designed and out of the way. Uh, and to fold those down you simply pull back on the bipod and rotate it down. There it's in the locked position. I don't know why we needed a stand. We could have just used the <laughs> built-in bipods on the FAMAS right there. Uh, charger handle, pretty neat. It's mm -hmm. just right up there. Unlocks via this uh, tooth. And then it just stays in place right there. Uh, the sight picture is pretty nice. It is fairly short sight radius. So what, probably 12 inches or yep. so, something like that. Uh, it's got this nice, really fine blade in the front, and then your rear peep, which you can actually flip down and go to your large close quarter or night sight mm -hmm. right there. Uh, otherwise, that's the FAMAS. So you got anything else there, Keith, on it? See, I believe, if I'm correct, this was France's entry into the 5.56 going from the 7.5 French. Okay. So this, these were, were kind of a, a whole step away from France's early service rifles. Yep. And it was developed by the French, by the Moss mm -hmm. factory oh, yes. um, internally in France. So uh, today we're now moving away, or the French are, to the 416. That's kind of the end of the line for the mm -hmm. French internally developed, uh, yeah. at least small arms. Yep, which so is started unique. in the 1880s on forward. Yeah, it's really kind of an end of an era if yeah. you look at it that way. Just like the British, the yep. S80s, probably their last. That's the end of the infields. Yep, the last infield. Uh, so that's the FAMAS. I want to thank uh, Rock Island Auctions. Yes, thank you very much. And of course, I'll thank Keith Ford. Yeah, thank uh, you, Paul. So please join us next time where we'll grab another gun from the vault. Oh, well.